to check the balance on this thing. It's going to take half an ounce of weight. So I got my lead weights here. It's going to take half an ounce of weight in the tail to uh, balance this thing out. Which is uh, quite a bit in my book for plane like this. So I was kind of wondering how tight that tank is to landing gear if I shouldn't have uh, put the engine further forward or something but no if I did of course it's going to further forward you put your engine the more weight you're going to need so I uh, cut them out a bit I'm going to put the uh, glue the lead weight in there uh, looks like I might have weakened the tail a bit doing that but I'm going to cap this with a piece of plywood just to stiffen it up. I got some 30 second birch ply and pretty much cut it with scissors and I'll uh, fill it in with the balsa first just like the wing it's countersunk. So probably in about halfway, eighth of an inch there anyway and uh, I'll uh, cap it with the balsa, sand it flush then I'm going to put a piece of that ply over there just to beef it up a bit. And it's a little more weight, but then again, the tail of the airplane is where she needs it. The other thing is, when you paint it, it's going to add more weight to the after part of the airplane as well. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the CG to the forward recommended. Uh, mount which is about a three quarters of an inch behind the leading edge to an inch and three quarters. You can believe that. Um, so I I balanced it to the forward CG recommended, and that way, as I add the dope and everything to the tail, it won't go beyond the aft. It's just, it, hopefully, it'll be somewhere in the middle. The uh, lead weight glued in. Next, I'll. Uh, Put the uh, 16th inch balsa feller, maybe about 8th inch actually, would be a big deal to sand that down. I'll put the, got the lead weight in the tail there. And did the same idea as on the wing. Just covered it with a piece of 16th balsa, sander flush, lots of glue in there. And, uh, a two inch Dubro uh, low bounce uh, wheels on her. They're quite soft, a bit in light. Uh, I might put a set of two inch real uh, light wheels on her. Uh, those foam jobs that'll uh, take some of the weight off her in the front um, where this bolt goes through. The one that we soldered the washer on. I think what I'll do here is when I take this out before doping it, I'll drill this out further. Put a uh, quarter inch hardwood dowel on there, beans I'm not worried about weight in the aft end. A thin CA that in, making sure it's nice and flush first. Thin CA, CA uh, in place and that'll give me hardwood for these washers nuts to because uh, that's your adjustment is that nut like up against the that side and this side here of course if you tighten that you're just going to crush the balsa so I'll put a hardwood dowel through here and that'll give a nice hard surface for that to uh, tighten up against and all it's doing is just a guide for that uh, real screwy push rod system I am still <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. So uh, I'm gonna. The uh, tail is light. It should have been longer, I guess. But the big thing was this uh, this nose. I got the engine. I was thinking maybe I put the engine too far back because of clearance issues here. 
Yeah, if I uh, went any further forward, I could probably go an eighth of an inch forward when I was putting it together. But that's going to make my tail heavy, or nose heavy situation even worse. So, knowing now, uh, doing it again, I'd go back a quarter of an inch on this uh, landing gear. That's, that's how I'd handle that. And uh, go straight up and down like it did. And you could even bend these forward if you got a, uh, issues with the thing nosing over. Which is why I didn't like that swept back idea. If you look at this control line here, this is a Carl Goldberg shoestring. They uh, cut the landing gear, swept forward, and the shoestring is even, or the, the uh, ringmaster is even more exaggerated forward. And the reason for that was these things are designed to fly off of grass fields, which they still do most of the time. At least mine will be. So, uh, anyway, put some lead in her ass. She's nice, it's not a bad looking plane. Um, with that patch on the tail and the few dings I put in it, thanks to this cursed thing I got stuck with for another three weeks. Uh, don't know if I'll be doing the clear on her or not. Give it that wood finish. I'll do the filling and see what it looks like. And uh, next part of the video should be uh, doped up. And yeah, muffler didn't help matters any for the weight either. See if I can find a tongue muffler for that. A little lighter. 